Damn, that's a big crowd over here. Oh, man. Working Halloween night, you know it's going to be busy. It's going to be a lot of drunks. You one of them nights. What in the world? <laughs> but on the bright side, the citizens come out, they dress up, they enjoy themselves. All right, now. <laughs> and for me, I look so young. Everybody thinks I'm always in a Halloween costume. <laughs> Let's go, man. Come on. Pay attention. You got to get rid of that. You can't drink alcohol. Yeah, nothing like that. You got to get rid of that. This ain't New Orleans. Not Mardi Gras. How old are you? I'm 18. OK, you're 18 and you're drinking. Well, you know you can't drink. Yeah. So how'd you get the alcohol? You have, you have an ID on you? No, it's in the car. No. So she doesn't have any ID. What's your first name? I'm Sarah. Sarah, step over this way. Sarah, you have a middle name? No, I don't. You don't? What's your last name? Marshall. What's your date of birth? 07-23-1997. She says she's 18, but she gives me a different date of birth that wasn't matching up. That's my girlfriend. OK, well, you need to go stand over there. No. Because she's underage. No, no, I'm going to sit and watch my girlfriend. No, you need to go stand over here, because okay. we're talking to her. I'm OK. That's twice. Am I being arrested? You will be if you don't go stand over there while we're talking to a girlfriend. The boyfriend is getting confrontational. I'm giving him every opportunity to step back, but he's not listening, and I have no choice but to put him in handcuffs. Don't listen to nothing. You, you had the chance. Okay, look, look, look. I'll, I'll stand over there right no, now. No, uh-uh. Too late. That, that's my girlfriend, sir. Please. I'll stand over there right now. Uh, yes, sir. Too late. Sir, sir. You had please, the chance. Please, I was trusting my girlfriend. Keep walking. Walk to the front of that police car. Can I tell you something if you walk in, man? Sure. I lied to you. You lied about what? Your name? name? I figured. I'm sorry. That's the law that you're breaking. Do you understand that? Can I just please give the right home from an Uber? No, absolutely not. Why are you being like that? Because you're underage. You're 17 what because I'm allowing it. Please, please, please. But I wasn't drinking at 17. I wasn't an Ebor at 17. I wasn't lying to the cops at 17. OK? Yeah. Put your hands behind your back. I didn't do anything. Underage drinking and false name. I'm not telling you who the I am. OK, lose the attitude. Get the off. Hey, relax. Don't relax. Shut the up. OK. Stop the Are you done? You're going home. You're going home. She is going to jail, OK? Come on. Talk to me. Are you OK? Hey, what's her, what's her real name? That's my girlfriend. She didn't do anything wrong. OK. Yes, yes she right. did. She did do something wrong. She drinking underage. Is that not against the law? Yes. And on top of that, she gave an officer who was trying to actually really help her out a false name. So is that not wrong? What is her real name? So after questioning her boyfriend, we were able to find out her real name. We're taking her to Juvie so her parents can pick her up. Now listen, here's the deal. I'm going to make between me and you man to man. Next time a law enforcement officer tells you to do something, then do it. It's simple. She goes, you're just mad because I call you an ugly ass I'm like, no, I'm not mad. She called you that? Yeah. Yeah, she did. It's not in person. You have to have thick skin to work in this profession because people are going to call you everything but the child of God. I'm pretty sure if she was sober, she would probably be a totally different girl. Be safe, be strong. Let's do this. Get that stretcher in here. You're gonna bleed to death. Randomizer, randomizer. No, they're not dead. I can work with them.